Deepavali. I would like to extend the heartiest and best wishes to all of you. And this is also a moment that we have to pause and try and understand what does Deepavali mean? What does it signify? Deepavali is a very important moment in time. Deepavali is that moment. It's the wild cheering of that moment when Sri Ram triumphantly returned back to Ayodhya. The biggest terrorist of those times who was not being defeated by anybody, even the devatas in Swarga Loka were unable to defeat him. That mission impossible was completed by Sri Ram. And Deepavali is the jubilation of the hero's return to Ayodhya. Deepavali is also the time when we worship Lakshmi. Lakshmi mainly in the form of Dhanya Lakshmi. Lakshmi is in multiple forms. Lakshmi denotes samruddhi, prosperity, abundance. Not only money. She, that is one aspect of Lakshmi. Lakshmi at this time indicates Dhanya Lakshmi. In uh, ancient India, which was an agrarian society, this was the time when the crops had been harvested, sold, and the money came in. The fresh crop also came in. And this was the celebration of that moment. In the month of Ashwin, lunar month of course, we celebrated the presence of Devi in the form of Durga. Here, we celebrate it in the form of Lakshmi. And then in Vasant Panchami, we celebrate her in the form of Saraswati. Energy is the same. Manifestation is slightly different. And depending on the manifestation, her worship is different. This period is also very significant for tantric sadhaks. Because on this occasion, they do Kali Puja. In some parts, this is also known as Kali Puja, Day of Kali Puja. Because she is the one who lights up the darkness in our hearts. There is everything in life, but the heart is dark. And we need to light a lamp over there. And the presence of Jyoti, knowledge, effulgence, radiance, destroys darkness. And that is the energy which Ma bestows upon us. I am not aware if people know, but this is also the period when we worship none other than Yamaraj. This is the, I would say, only festivity time during the year when we worship Yamaraj. On the day of Narka Chaturdashi, we have Deepadan dedicated to Yamaraj. Then, on next day, Amavasya, we have Tarpan dedicated to him. And then, two days later, Yamadvitiya, the festival between the brother and the sister, Yami, 
the sister of Yamaraj, she worships him on this day as a brother, Bhai Duj. We might feel surprised. Why is Yamaraj being worshipped now? When there is so much of joy, happiness, mirth, liveliness, why do we call and invoke the god of death? Does it not seem extremely inauspicious? But there is a reason for this. We have to realize, we have to understand that Yamaraj is not the god of death. Yamaraj is Dharmaraj. He is the upholder of Dharma. And he is the one who reminds us our Dharma. And those of us who fail out, miss out, have problems. Those who don't move on very happily. This is the period where we are able to bring in that knowledge. Oh, there is something more to life than just this. In the beginning of the session, we were discussing if there is one thing which differentiates the Vedic philosophy from all other philosophies, it is the philosophy, the truth of the primacy of the consciousness. The body is secondary. In the same way as my shirts and pants and trousers and uh, kurtas and dhotis, they are all secondary. I can keep changing them. Still, I will not change. In the same way, I can change my body, but I don't change. So then who am I? I'm not the body. I'm not the mind. I'm not the senses. Who am I? The immortal self am I. That immortal self resides within each and every one of us. He is the charioter. He is the passenger in the chariot. He is the passenger in the car. The body is the car. The mind is a driver. But the passenger is the Jivatma. And that is our true identity. This is the period that we are reminded of that. And when we are reminded of that, when we know that is the direction I need to go, automatically all my activities get oriented in that direction. I have come to college. And I'm enjoying, enjoying the canteen, enjoying the movies, enjoying with friends and everything. But then somebody comes and says, my dear, exams are around the corner. We have come to college to clear this, to learn that. And if we don't, we are going to be in a bad state. And then immediately I realize, oh dear, yes, I need to do that too. And I start changing myself. This period is also meant for that. To orient ourselves that yes, that is the direction I need to move in life. Where am I? And where do I need to go? This is the period that we can remember. This. Learn about it. So that we do not need to fear Dharmaraj. So, Deepavali is a conglomeration of multiple events. What do I like? What is my inclination? I can pick up from there. Yes, festivities certainly. Because Sri Ram has to be given the triumphant hero's welcome. But along with that, how can one become a hero like Sri Ram? That needs to happen in my life. That is what the yoga sadhaks, yoga aspirants think about. That is what they would like to emulate. Not just adulate, but emulate. And let this Deepavali bring joy, happiness, wisdom, and effulgence of the consciousness in each and every one of us. Let this be the prayer 
on this period of Deepavali and let us reach out as many people to share the happiness, joy and goodness which is necessary in society. Hari Om Tat Sat Namo Narayan Jai Bhum.